when I got back to England, when I saw a fellow walking down the street, a Jewish friend of mine, with a roll of cloth under his arm. I said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to have this made up into a suit. I said, but you are a tailor, aren't you? He said, yes. I said, well, why don't you make it up? He said, no, he said, I'm too dear. <laughs> <laughs> so he went to the tailor and he said, the tailor, I want you to make this up into a suit. He said, well, I don't want any fancy prices. None of that 14, 50 pound luck. The Jewish boy said, I'll, I'll do you justice. He said, I don't want you to do me justice. I've just come out doing three. You just make the suit. <laughs> so he made the suit. He called for it about three weeks after. He put it on and the sleeves came right down there, about six inches too long. The trousers are about a foot too long. And he said to the tailor, he said, does it suit me? He said, suit you. It suits you down to the ground. Don't have it altered. He said, I shan't touch it. If you say it's right, it's right. He said, it is right. He said, do you want anything else? He said, a bowler hat. He said, what size do you take? He said, six, seven, eight. He gave him a seven and a quarter. Came right down there like that, right down there like that. He said, does it suit me? He said, it suits you down the ground. Don't interfere with it. He said, I shan't touch it. If you say it's right, it's right. He said, do you want anything else? He said, yes. Could you see me to a bus? Here. There's a funny. <laughs> so I went in the pub to have a drink. And six teddy boys walked in. And one of them said, uh, give us six whiskeys. And what are you having? I said, I'll have a whiskey. I said, give him a large one. Give him a large one. I had a large whiskey. And that fellow called him six more. I said, give him one. I had another large whiskey. I had six large whiskeys. These teddy boys. I looked at the clock. Half past ten. I said, Sorry, I said, I've got to be going now. So one of them said, just a minute, you. Aren't you Max Miller? I said, yes. He said, you've got a lot of property in Brighton, haven't you? I said, yes. I've got one or two hotels. I've had half a dozen houses. He said, you want to sell one? I'm going to buy a round of drinks. Here, there was a phone. <laughs> There's an old man standing next to me, smoking, chain smoking. He was chain smoking. One cigarette after another. I said, how many cigarettes do you smoke a day? He said, a hundred. I said, all day. He said, I'm 80. I said, you want to get on commercial television? You'll make a fortune. I said, get down there in the morning. He said, what have I got to do? I said, just stand there. So I'm 80 years of age. I smoke 100 cigarettes a day. I'm as healthy as a day I was born. He said, I'll, I don't want to go. I said, look, get down there about 9 o'clock, down the office. Tell him I sent you. He said, I couldn't be there at 9. I said, well, 10. He said, no, I couldn't get there at 10. I said, well, don't be late at 11 because they'll all be gone. He said, I couldn't even get there at 11. I said, why not? He said, don't stop coughing until 12. <laughs> There's a little mouse, a little mouse walking along the pavement on Piccadilly there and, and a woman frightened it and he stepped off the curb and got knocked down by a bus. Picked himself up, went across the road and went into a music shop. Said the man behind the counter, do you sell mouse organs? <laughs> and the man said, that's funny, that's funny you should say that. We had a little mouse in here yesterday and she wanted mouse organs. The little mouse said, I know who that was, that was harmonica. LAUGHTER